Hi students, in this video I am going to explain about the concept of scope. So what is scope? Scope is nothing but lifetime of a variable. So whatever the object you are creating, whatever the variable you are creating, whatever the function you are creating, that's life, you call it as scope. Okay, so let us see the definition of scope. Scope refers to the visibility of variables or parameters or functions in one part of your program to another part of same program okay. so it determines the visibility of your variable here note this point visibility visibility means what you can access or see in a particular area of your code okay so scope refers to the visibility of your variables and parameters and functions in one part of your program to another part of your same program what does it mean which means the program is divided into many parts okay when you declaring the variable here you can access that variable you can see that variable within these two parts mm. if you declare a variable in this part you can access that variable within this block only if you are declaring a variable here you can see that variable you can access that variable everywhere okay um, this is the definition of scope so next what is variable scope you already know about variables variable is nothing but memory location that used to, to store the values or that used to, to hold values so when you assign a variable with the assignment operator to an object means what you are binding or mapping the variable to that object here value is called as object so you are binding or mapping variable to that object okay the scope of a variable is that part of the code where it is visible okay which means you can access or see the variable in a particular area of your code okay that is called variable scope here we have written equal to sign this sign is mainly used in programming languages to map the variable and object okay so what do you mean by mapping the process of binding the process of binding a variable name with the object is called mapping so we are binding a variable name with the object is called as what mapping okay so here i am writing the variable name is bounded with the object is called what mapping here for mapping we are used equal to operator okay so this is called mapping programming languages keeps track of all this mapping with the namespaces so what are namespaces namespaces are containers for mapping names of variables to objects namespaces are what containers it is used for mapping names of variables to objects so this is called namespaces so you can compare this namespaces with the dictionaries because the dictionaries contains list of words and its meanings okay so you can say this the words are mapped with its meanings in dictionaries Similarly, the variables are mapped with its objects. It's called what? Namespaces. Okay. So, this is about namespaces. So, let's see one example. Write statement here. A is equal to 5. And second statement. B is equal to A. So, draw the mapping for this statements. A and this is b this is 5 so in this first statement a is first mapped to the integer 5 so a is mapped to integer 5 okay this is mapping here a is a variable and this integer value 5 is object in this second statement b is equal to a what does it mean so, uh, what, what is the value of B variable? It is the value of A. So, what is the value of A? A is 5. So, what is the value of B? B is also 5. So, B also bound the same integer value as A, which is 5. Okay. 
so now i am writing third statement that is a is equal to 3 so already a is equal to 5 is given now i have written a is equal to 3 okay now i am going to draw these changes this is a and this is b in first statement a is equal to 5 is given in third statement a is equal to 3 is given so now a is changed from 5 to 3 okay so now a is mapped to the integer value 3 a is equal to 5 and b is equal to a so what is the value of b b also 5 okay next condition is given a is equal to 3 so now the value of a is changed but b is still mapped to the integer of 5 okay so these changes of a does not affect the value of b the value of a will change the value of b does not change okay so this is the mapping after changing the value of a so this is about introduction of scope okay